and welcome back to News 8 this morning. I do want to let you know that at News 8, we are proud partners of the San Diego Latino Film Fest, which begins on March 12th this week and goes all the way to the 22nd. You can check out some fantastic films at AMC Fashion Valley, and we're going to hear about some of those films, and then we're also going to let you know about a really fun event that has you uh, tasting some treats at the Latino Film Festival as well. So let's start with Ethan over here, executive director and founder of the Film yes, Festival. Thanks. Tell folks what they can expect if they come on out. Well, it's 11 days, over 190 movies, wow. short films, feature films, a little something for everybody, family films, documentaries, films from Argentina, Chile, Mexico, Spain, and then also you get to meet the filmmakers and actors in person. That's a great thing about the film festival. There's an intro and Q&As after every film. And then also there's wonderful actors in these movies, Gael Garcia Bernal, Edward James Olmos, Ricardo Darín, famous people that everyone know. But this is a great opportunity to see it on the screen, see films that otherwise you wouldn't see at your home. This is exciting. The film festivals I've been to, there's nothing better than waiting mm -hmm. till after the movie and then just <laughs> peppering the filmmakers and the actors with questions like, what exactly. happened here and why did you come up with this scene? And it makes it just sort of a really neat and interactive experience. Yeah, and the film festival really celebrates not only uh, international filmmakers from all over the world, but we also celebrate local filmmakers from uh, both sides of the border here. So we have local filmmakers who are there to present their works. And then also the festival is much more than just Films. So we have opening night parties, closing night parties, food festivals, and something for everybody. Speaking of the food, you guys want to get started over here? Then I'll get to you here in just a moment. Let's get over to Rodrigo Alvarez, one of the filmmakers that's going to be showcased at the film festival. Your movie's called By the End of the Night. That's right. Tell us what it's about. Well, By the End of the Night is a thriller. It's a story about two brothers that get involved in a crime. But as the night goes on, they're going to start meditating about what they're doing, and they're going to make a decision that will change their lives forever. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Can we, can, is it a giveaway if we tell folks what the crime was? <laughs> It does. It is a giveaway. It's a giveaway. Okay. Okay. Because no I watched the trailer and I'm like, oh boy, this is scary. Okay. So when can folks see by the end of the night? Uh, March 16th. March 16th. At AMC Theaters, Fashion Valley. Fashion Valley. Yes. Okay. So go check him out there and go support Rodrigo and his film. All right, guys. Let's come over here. We've got Pablo here. Um, tell us a little bit about the Culinary uh, Art School and what you're making out here for the Film Fest. <coughs> yes, Culinary Art School is one of the most important culinary schools in uh, Baja California, and is the only one that has a master's in Mexican cuisine. Nice. So right now we're focused in one of uh, the most traditional dishes in Mexico. This comes from central Mexico. There are uh, fried quesadillas fried with quesadillas. different kind of uh, fillings. This is cuitlacoche, which is a fungus that uh, grows in a, in a corn cup. And this is uh, a pumpkin. A fungus that grows in a corn crop. Yeah, I mean, we in Mexico eat everything <laughs> traditionally. So even So this plates. is no big deal. Got it. <laughs> this is pumpkin flour. Nice. And this is what, what we call carnitas, is pork. Okay. So I already have some quesadillas already made. Gonna so fry I, it I, up. I'm, I'm going to fry them up. And in the meantime, I'm going to uh, end preparing this plate. Sort of our finished yes. plate of what uh, it looks like once the frying is done. Is that the famous cheese? Cotija cheese. Cotija cheese, that's the best stuff. Some A sauce. Salsa. This is roasted tomato sauce, cream. To make it look perfect at the end. Yes. Almost perfect. Semi perfect. Almost. Yeah. Well, this one is much better. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I brought something else. This is a beverage made with tomatillo, which is not very common. It's green tomato and uh, lime juice and um, spearmint uh, leaves. Where can folks taste some of this food? Like, what day is that taking place with the Film Fest? Um, I think this is going, going to be on Saturday. Saturday, yes. 14th, 1 to 5, exactly. there at Fashion Valley. It's out, out, outside, the 20 chefs from all over uh, Baja California, San Diego are participating. Oh, and, my goodness. Uh, beer, wine, tequila, a little bit of everything, yeah. Sounds great. What everybody. a great way to start off the film yeah. festival, too. Okay, again, that's taking place on Saturday. I want to get over here, though, and we'll talk to Matias from Empanada Kitchen. Oh. And uh, what are you making this morning? Well, empanadas, of course. It's the only thing we know how to do in Empanada <laughs> Kitchen. You perfected it, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought some filling for the beef empanada, which is our most uh, traditional and most classic empanada. Is an sorry. empanada um, the shell sort of different than a tortilla? Yes. Okay. It's wheat uh, flour. Wheat flour. Yes. Got it. So Where tortilla is traditionally corn. Exactly. Okay. So basically, what we do is we do a lot of this uh, every day. <laughs> but the film, do you have a favorite? Yes, beef, of course. Beef. In Argentina, okay. we eat a lot of meat, <laughs> so yeah. Then you basically do this. 
Need to oh my gosh, you're making that look easy. That would take you 10 <laughs> minutes to sew that all up. That looks so good. Then you deep fry it as well? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. No, no, this is every, everything is baked. Baked? Yeah. How yeah. interesting. We don't, we don't, you can fry them, but not too. Yeah, and they are amazing. But at Banana Kitchen, you bake. We bake them. I yeah, like but it. a little lighter, you can basically eat more. Where are you? Where is your restaurant at? <laughs> we have two locations: one in downtown, uh, C Street and Eighth, and then another one right down the street from from the, the Digital Cinema in Cajon Boulevard. In okay, great, fantastic. We'll have to come check Saturday it out. To, yeah, at, the at the film festival so yeah. we'll taste your treats out there I on saturday at the so film festival them, oh course, good yeah. good because you <laughs> knew i was going to start staring at you if you didn't have anything for me to try all right here's what we're going to do we'll put the information for the film festival and of course for the food event coming up on saturday on our website go to cbsa.com click on the hot button gentlemen thank you so much for coming out thank we do appreciate invite. it all right so i'll send it back to you in the studio those empanadas look amazing heather they look really good i like one so thank you